If someone comes and asks you a personal question about God, if you're personal with God, then you can answer them. Otherwise, you can just read them in a book. That's not personal. That was for somebody else. We can read about other personal relationships God has with other people, not to have them as our own, but to get to the place to say, man, you know what? I want to be personal with you. If you were personal with this person, I want to get personal with you. If that person could go this far, I want to go farther. Sometimes we see blessing. We say, oh, God, you blessed that person with so much money. I want to go farther. The Lord may give it to you, but it will break his heart. He say, is there anybody out there that wants to get personal with me, not with my blessing? Anybody. I love you so much, even if you get personal with my blessing. But I'm a person also. Anybody out there that wants to be personal. If you want to be personal with me, so he says that I will show you things that I never showed anybody before. And there is enough stuff for him to show us for the eternity that he never showed in any other person. He told me one day, he said, I will tell you the things I never told anybody before. I thought I was so special. Then I realized that this is a special invitation to every single person. That's why, you know, you're on the bill. Every time he speaks, every 10 seconds, you hear people say, Oh, wow. Oh, awesome. Whoa. But you know what? Don't just stay here. Go further. Just say, Lord, you're so personal with Bill. Thank you for blessing him and getting us to this place and making us jealous. Be personal with me too. Right? Why not? Why not? We are t- tonight we are talking about the person, right? We are not talking about Christianity, are we? Because Christianity is here to push us to Jesus. Didn't Jesus... Jesus didn't come here to make us Christians, right? We think that Jesus is here to say, hey, everybody, gather around and be a Christian. What we call Christianity is here. He say, hey, everybody, gather around Jesus. It's the other way around. We're talking about the person. You punch him or you just do this, and he says, ouch, his heart says, ouch. Person, extremely person. To the degree, he said, you know what? I'm going to be one of you, and I'm going to look like one of you and come to earth. Then you will really know that I'm a person. Person. I love him so much. Whenever I say, you say, me too. Even you can say more than you do. <laughs> then I would say, uh-uh, that would be impossible. I really love him. I said, no, 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 Cameron, I love him more. You know, we, I believe we really need to get to know him to the place, or he wants to show himself to us to a place that when you think about him, your heart even can't contain, even in your bad day, or what we call bad day. You know, we call it bad day. And it's not just the Christianity. It's not just the Christian doctrine. It's, it's the head of Christianity. It's the head of all doctrine. The Lord told me one day, he said, it was Holy Spirit. He said, when I give you revelation, I said, yes. He said, thank me. But at the end, say, now give me Jesus. Because Jesus is all revelation combined together. For eternity, we can get all these revelation and say, wow. And sometime make the revelation our God or worship a revelation that comes from God. Instead of saying, Jesus, thank you for sharing Part of yourself, which was this revelation. But I'm not going to even allow the revelation to stand between me and you. It's you, the person. That's why in heaven, some, some of those elders, some people that are more mature in heaven, I believe they will be because of their heart on earth and how much they really learn and the expansion of their heart that has to do something with that. They would put their crown that was given to them by God. Put the crown down. Not because the crown is too heavy, but he would say, I put the crown down. It's you. Yes, this crown came from you, but man, you are more important than the crown you gave it to me. You promised me, the Lord showed me this in the very beginning. He said, I am bigger than what I promised. He's bigger. He's more important than what he promises us. 
That's why he came to Abraham, promised something, but he wanted to teach his friend Abraham that I am bigger than what I even promised you. Kill the promise. These are not normal revelation. These are here. We are sharing these things to really get to know the heart of God, to know the heart of the Father, that he goes so far that he sends his son to us. Nobody would do that. It's so good to know him. 